When the gloves come in from the shops, we immediately take them to a washing machine where we wash them with a warm water and a mild detergent. After the gloves are washed, we put them in a dryer for a 15 minute cycle to get all the standing water out of them. Once they're dried up, we take them to the testing area. After the gloves are washed and dried, they come over to the testing area. Class two gloves are tested at 20,000 volts. The operating voltage is 17,000 volts for these gloves. We bring them over to a, a hanger where they are placed on. The inside of the glove is filled with water and this ground rod is, is dipped into the water inside the glove. The outside of the glove is dipped into a water tank which is energized at 20,000 volts. We test all the gloves at 20,000 volts and hold it for one minute. The gloves come up out of the water bath. We take them off the hangers and empty all the standing water outside of the glove. We shake it out and we bring it over here to an air dryer to let air circulate through the gloves for 45 minutes. After the gloves are electrically tested and dried, they're brought over to our visual inspection area. Every glove goes through a rigorous safety inspection on the outside and the inside of the glove. We, we look for and feel for imperfections in the rubber, tears, scratches, rips, UV cutting, or dry rot. Once we've visually inspected the glove inside and out, we put it on an air inflation tester where we expand the glove to one and a quarter times its original size. We use a two color combination for our gloves, a red in interior and a black exterior. When we expand the outside of the glove with air, we can see any perfections or break down the dielectric material, see the red bleeding through the black. We check the palms, the fingers, and the webbing of the gloves. Once the gloves are done with the visual inspection, they're put into a cart and they go to our final inspection area. After the gloves are visually inspected, they're brought down to the third and final inspection area. The gloves are once again uh, inspected for visual defects that might have been missed in our other processes. We turn them inside out and we feel for those same visual defects, tears, scrapes, or abrasions. Once we do the final inspection area, the gloves are then paired up a left and a right hand with the proper sizes. The gloves are then stamped. We stamp the gloves with a, the test shop that they were tested at, the date that they were tested, the expiration month, and the expiration year. After the gloves are stamped, they're put into plastic bags and heat sealed for distribution out to the field personnel.